We're going to bring in an expert right now. Jared Moses is the CEO of United Entertainment. You've handled yeah. PR for uh, all sorts of folks out there. All right, he's got a big problem, but uh, Tiger still remains a, an icon, and I think he remains admired. Do you agree? I do agree. I really? Do. Yeah, I do. I think that he is he's admired for what he does for a living, and I think that's why people buy his products and why brands have signed him on. And is, haven't we kind of gotten over the idea of celebrities having an affair? I mean, whether thanks to Bill Clinton, right. I mean, he did it in the Oval Office. Bill Clinton, people have forgiven him and largely forgotten. So this is not as scandalous as it once was, perhaps. Am I wrong? No, I, I think you're absolutely right. And I think time passes and, and, and people tend to forgive and forget, especially if he's not doing anything that is, that is going to affect the general public. And this is a personal issue that he has. And then he'll move on. Jared, uh, times are different now. I mean, yeah. we almost celebrate when somebody does something wrong. I mean, Paris Hilton made a career of this. Right. Um, times have totally changed. But does there, what is the point where you say, oh my goodness, this guy is damaged goods? Well, as, as it, from, it, there's two points of view. From a brand point of view, I think you have to really calculate the long-term effect on your brand. So if you're investing billions of dollars in a person, you need to wait a long time until it becomes something that is a negative to your brand. And if you look at the companies that have invested in Tiger, they have to wait a long time be before it becomes a negative. And I actually don't think it's going to be a negative. It'll be a, it'll be a positive in the long run. Here's a positive in the long run. Well, how? Yeah, how, yeah, how, how would you well, say that? that? Because I think everyone loves a comeback story. Okay. And I think that over time, it will be a comeback here's, story for Tiger Woods. Here's something that could kind of throw it up. Uh, yeah. If it comes out that there's like kinky sex involved or anything mm. like that, you know what I mean? Something that kind of would, well, that, 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 would be, that would be a problem. <laughs> Short term would be a problem. But long term, I don't think what the nature of the of the scandal is about. I think it's about the long term effect on his 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 personal achievement in sports. If he comes off like a womanizer, though, I mean, really bad. If there are like dozens and dozens and dozens, then you might see advertisers say, you know, Tiger, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna cancel the contract. We'll it, revisit this later. Right. I mean, you know, and, and and we have to see how that plays out. I think that I think once again, I think that people have invested in Tiger because of his professional achievements and. And I think they will continue to buy his products because of his professional achievements. I think that he would be a great spokesman for a phone company because he did a lot of sex texting. <laughs> <Stop that. laughs> well, so what do you think, Jared? Actually, that's the answer. Let me go there first. People are going to be first. less likely to text, less likely to leave voicemails. If he made a mistake in this thing, it was like leaving, hi, it's Tiger. I mean, <laughs> hi, it's the most famous person in the world, one of them, uh, calling. I mean, that right. was a mistake. You got Everything this emphasizes, it's got to be face-to-face -face contact. Emails and text messages are forever. Right. right. Sure. Yeah. So, Jared, from um, a marketing standpoint, yeah. from a commercial standpoint, uh, if you are the owner of the company, say, I don't know, Nike or whatever, sure. do you hold back on commercials right now or do you flood the market with it because... I think what they're doing is actually the right thing to do. Right now, I don't think you push your commercial activity. I think you, you, you run a very soft PR uh, platform saying that we're behind our athlete. You wait to see what happens for the next four to six weeks. You don't. You, you pull yeah, you back. Don't somebody. put them on the Wheaties box that, right now. Exactly. Right. You, yeah, wait. You, you wait. You wait. You wait. You pull back your advertising, but you don't pull anything off the shelves. You let it stay out there. You know and, something? Yeah. He's been in the public spotlight now for 13 years. I remember that press conference when he dropped out of Stanford University. Mm. 13 years, scandal free. Even just the remotest kind of sign of trouble, right. we haven't seen it. Right. So haven't seen it. This is. We haven't seen it. Right. But he had a pretty good run there. Yep. Right. Yep. I think he's a good person. I think, well, I, and, and that's my he point. He made mistakes. Nobody's well, perfect. He said it. And would you buy his golf shirt tomorrow? I don't, I don't golf. So, right. you know, I, mean, I, would, I, I would not. Most but I would not buy something, anyway. something from his wife. Do you think that she would be a viable <laughs> maybe, maybe candidate an for, for an endorsement? You know, that's a good question, actually. She, it depends how she comes Scornedwomens.com. You know, she's a strong woman. She's a strong woman. And so she's got a good something. golf swing. She <laughs> Apparently she does. Apparently she we don't does. know. We don't, we don't, we don't, we still don't know what the heck happened that night, really. We don't. And nor do I think we'll ever really find out the truth. Mm. But, I, but I think that, as you said, I think people at the, at the end of the day know that he's probably going to be an okay guy and, and they're going to they're buy into whatever he is going to get behind. Do you know anybody right now who wants him to endorse something new? I don't. I don't. But I do know that the companies that are behind him right now are standing behind him, and there are no plans to pull back. Jared Moses, CEO of United Entertainment Group. Thank you so much. Appreciate your insight this morning. Me. Thanks very much. Thank Good you. to see you.